Gaming Morning Show continues. Thanks for being along for the ride as we get a chance to play Five Questions GMS with Charlie Rosen of the 8-Bit Big Band. Good morning to you, Charlie. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Thanks for having me on. Uh, our pleasure. Uh, we are very excited to have you on because uh, we are an award-winning uh, program ourselves. You are a Tony Award-winning and now Grammy-nominated musician. Uh, have you ever heard of the uh, Chris M. Yee Memorial Clip of the Year Clip M. Yee Award? No, I have not. Tell me about that. <laughs> it, it is an amazing thing that we ourselves have won once because Mike was hilarious. So there you go. That's, that. that's about the gist of it. <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, so we, are, we are so thankful for you uh, joining us because, again, uh, you have this Grammy nomination, which we're going to talk about. But maybe there are some who have not heard of the 8-Bit Big Band. So we would love to know the background. Give us the story of your band. Yeah, basically, the 8-Bit Big Band is um, a 33 to as large as 65-piece jazz orchestra that I started to rearrange and reimagine re music from classic video games and, and beloved video game music in the same way that, you know, in the mid-century and in the music industry of the last 100 years, there have been many other catalogs of music that have become popular canons, such as Broadway shows, film scores, the, you know, the Great American Songbook, jazz standards, that have all become bodies of work for various generations to reimagine uh, through jazz and other mediums of people putting their own spin on it. Now we have a generation that has grown up with a, a whole new canon of music uh, through the medium of video games and, and the soundtracks that we love. And I think that, that that catalog of music deserves the same respect and recognition and, and honor that the great musical works of the last hundred years have gotten. I've been lovingly calling it the great video game songbook all of these standards of, of video game music that have emerged just from an entire generation of people all experiencing the same um, uh, games and art form. And nice. give us specifically details on uh, the one song that you are nominated for uh, the Grammy Award. They'll be on April 3rd is when the Grammy Awards are. That's right. So the song that we're nominated for is uh, Meta Knight's Revenge from Kirby Superstar. And uh, actually, this is, I just learned literally this morning, it's Kirby's 30th. <laughs> Uh, birthday and Nintendo themselves are doing a big band concert in August in Tokyo to honor that. Uh, we did our, me and uh, Jake Silverman, who goes by Button Masher, did our own sort of avant-garde jazz spin on it that was nominated for a Grammy this year, which is thrilling because it's only the third time that a piece of video game music has ever been acknowledged by the Grammy Awards. It was a complete long shot. I, I entered us into it thinking, who knows? There's who knows? It's video game music. It's so niche. But hey, you know, mu good music is good music, I guess. And here we are. People recognize that, which is incredible. Uh, and, and speaking of the music, I, I wanted to mention before we get started with the game, you you get obviously the people involved with with the big band are probably pretty invested. But you also have quite a few like popular New York artists, Adam Neely, Leo P. Grace Kelly, like, do they come in like, yeah, I'm super excited about video game music, or does Leo P come and go, I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to play the hell out of it? You know, it's a healthy mix. I mean, I've lived in New York now for 12 years and developed quite a circle of friends that are incredible artists in the jazz scene. And similar to what I'm talking about in the past, where they'd get, you know, Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald and, and all of these famous jazz musicians to cover these pieces, I wanted to do the same thing with this catalog now. As far as if people are or aren't gamers, it's generally 50-50. Some people are, you know, I'm not really a gamer, but I'm a great sax player, so I'll bring them in. Leo, to be specific, I I asked him to do this, and he, the track that he recorded, the uh, Mario Land Underground theme, that was actually his idea. <laughs> he is a gamer, <laughs> and he thought, you know, I've always loved this tune from Super Mario Land, the Game Boy. I would love the, to do the, something with this. The niche of the niche at that point. <laughs> yeah, so he he's a gamer, so he came into it with nice. his own ideas. And uh, so that made it even more fun for me because I went, oh, yeah, and you know, I know you're playing, and so I have this idea of what you want to do. It's really collaborative in that way. All right, we are here to have you uh, play a game, Charlie. It is called Five Questions GMS, Nonsensical Fun, and we start with the leader of the 8-bit uh, big band, Charlie Rosen, with question number one. One ready all right so question numero uno uh the eight bit big band's grammy nominated song is meta knight's revenge so we'll ask you about 1985 stuntman award-winning knight rider uh, the 1980s tv show starring david hasselhoff in a talking car <laughs> the question is according to mental floss the show's theme song 
composed by Stu Phillips is based on a selection from what ballet? Capella, Giselle, or Sylvia? Oh my god. And I think <laughs> we have a sample of music, perhaps? If if you need an audio clue, Charlie, yeah, we yeah. might be able to have Bob, our, our big voice, uh, help. Would you like an audio clue? Absolutely, I'll take any help I can get. Bob, can you help us? Yes. Okay, just a sec. Let me let me get Bob to, to bring you this. Okay, here we go. That's not it. That's music nope. from someone else. <laughs> this doesn't sound at all like some sort like of this, symphony or something like that. Wow, they're really ahead the of their time. Wow. Yes, that ballet. <laughs> Don't you remember the great ballet by something or other? Yeah, that was wonderful. It's and... Good. Action, Bob. I don't think Bob wants to cooperate. You're going to have to do this one yeah, without the audio clue, apparently. Jeez. You know, that's really tough. I'm so not versed in the classical world of ballet and, and <laughs> opera. But, but <laughs> what, yeah, that's... what are my options again? <laughs> so your your options are Capella, Capella, Capella whatever. <laughs> uh, that one... Giselle or Sylvia. <coughs> the C one, the G one, or the Sylvia. Right. What are the compo are those the names of the ballets? Sounds right. Okay. <laughs> do, we, do we know the composers? Uh Stu Phillips. Okay. Uh, is the guy who wrote this the show's theme song. What about the composers of the ballets? Mm -hmm. Uh I think there's Rod Rodney did the first one. <laughs> Uh, Elvis did the second one, and then uh, Stuart Wright did the third one. Stuart Wright? Wright. Stuart Wright did Sylvia? Stuart Wright did Sylvia. Not Stuart Wrong, but Stuart Wright did Sylvia. Stuart Wright. So the right what, what person was, oh. wrote Sylvia, the right person? The right person, yeah. The <laughs> Not, wrong, what was my second option? One. <laughs> this uh, is doing, we're doing great here so far. G. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with option two. I have truly no clue. That is so deep. Mm -hmm. Was uh, I right, Charlie? That's a great answer. Uh, I really <laughs> like the fact that you're going with number two, which was Giselle. But that's actually Tom Brady's wife, the quarterback yeah. for the Tampa Bay yeah. Buccaneers. <laughs> uh, we actually threw that one in to kind of throw you off the scent. Uh, you still, st I mean, sorry, still have time to answer correctly. Okay, so it's not that. So Bob, know, Bob about, hasn't did your duty yet. So how about? Uh, what was the third one? Sylvia? Oh, there Correct. we go! Yes! We did it! <laughs> I flipped the coin, and it came up right. <laughs> uh, Brilliant. Ding, ding, ding! I do want to I I be honest, honest though, Charlie. Had you had the audio clue? Yeah. I would have nailed, nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all Bob's fault. Great. Yeah. You're Thank fired, you for that. Bob. Thanks. Thanks, Bob. You're Thanks welcome. Back Bob, get back in your box. Okay. <laughs> Question two. number two. Yeah. Uh, question number two. We asked you where you have not traveled okay. that you would like to go. And you said Brazil. Uh, there, the Pandero is claimed to be the country's unofficial official instrument. Mm -hmm. So clearly, according to the journeyingtheglobe.com, <laughs> Panderos are built on a round wooden frame. Mm -hmm. How many pairs of metal jingles fitted along the sides? Three? No way. Nice. No way. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. You have, you have multiple choices here. <laughs> what are they? Is any of them five? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. This, this is a literal Pandera. <laughs> I mean, we can't argue with that. I think five I think, this question, I think yeah. this question was written just because the options were three, six, or nine. Nice. Uh, but five, I yeah. think, is the right answer because you're holding one. So we yeah. can't. <laughs> what is your, what is, what's your answer? Six? Nice. Yeah. Wow. No. Mine's like some busted American Pandera. <laughs> <laughs> Do you... Do you have the knockoff brand version? <laughs> Bargain. Bargain.
We're actually clipping this right now to send to journeyingtheglobe.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, we have visual evidence to the contrary. Thank you very much. Uh, that is absolutely correct. In fact, uh, visual evidence makes uh, you now three out of two. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, we're yeah. actually over 100% as we speak. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, Charlie Rosen's our guest, the leader of the 8-bit big band. And you are nominated for a Grammy. So question number three has to do with this. Three. Okay. Because you've also won a Tony Award. Which means between the four of us, we have exactly one Tony Award, which is amazing. <laughs> but in all seriousness, what's it like to win a Tony? And specifically, what's it like to be up on stage to receive it? Yeah. You know, the whole experience was such a crazy blur. It all, it all felt like it happened so fast. I have like a vague vision of being on stage and looking out into the crowd and making a speech and sort of didn't really remember what I said until I went back and found the clip so that I could post it on social media. But I mean, it, it's crazy. It's like such, it's such a thrill. You know, you're sitting there in the anticipation and as soon as they say your name, it's like this shot of adrenaline. You're like, oh my God, you go up there. You're like, and then they immediately usher you. You make your speech. You're like on high on adrenaline. They usher you to give a bunch of interviews. Then they put you in a car and they take you to an office and they give you the statue, you know, and then you get put back in the car. You go back to the ceremony, you're holding the statue. The next 25 minutes of the, the Tonys, I have no idea what happened because I was just like, <laughs> it has a little disc in it. You can spin the disc. Wow. Yeah, it, I would I would show you, but it's it's upstairs on my piano. I'd be away too long. I don't want to put, put you out. Well, they should hire a videographer just to follow you once you win it, so you can remember what happened. Yeah, right. <laughs> while you just blank it out <laughs> for yeah. your next Tony Award, do that, Charlie. Yeah, definitely. I'll Correct. be a little more calm that time. I'll be like, all right. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, congratulations. Four for three so far. Still over 100% as we move to question number four. Four. Uh, question number four is Bob. Bob's slacking. Uh, so we asked what your favorite material possession uh, or brand was. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned your entire uh, instrument collection. Mm -hmm. uh, we know one what? of them already. <laughs> <laughs> there definitely is one. Um, what should we know? about your instrument collection? Well, one time the New York Times interviewed me and they made me take out every single instrument I own, big and small, oh, okay. from the lowly shaker to tri and triangle to the, the mighty tuba. <laughs> and we got to <laughs> 70 instruments that I have in my apartment here in New York. So, you know, it, it's, I don't know if that counts as a unit as one of my one favorite possession, but I guess it sort of does, I'm, and um, it's growing every day. Like I just got these really nice professional spoons. They're very cool. Professional <laughs> spoons, nice. Yeah, yeah, professional spoons. There's all sorts of weird things. I have a theremin. If anybody knows what a theremin is, Ooh, it's a very nice. bizarre sci-fi instrument that you play without touching it. It works with radio waves. Um, yeah. How many, it, how many Beach Boys covers can you play on your <laughs> <laughs> the, the big one. <laughs> Do you know Mike Love? It's his birthday today. Oh, cool. Um, and the bonus question was, can you have an instrument? But you showed us your, your professional spoons. Got my two, professional so, spoons. showed us two so far. Uh, yeah. Other, do you own a kazoo? Oh, yeah. I've got a few in a drawer somewhere. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You have a kazoo <laughs> drawer? Fantastic. <laughs> that's, that's, it's a sort of miscellaneous. <laughs> miscellaneous toys Miss. drawer hopefully know. that's not an indication of how you feel about kazoos kazoos belong in a drawer <laughs> i'm sorry i'm gonna get canceled on kazoo twitter go ahead mike you can no it's it's fine like, 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 yeah you should with uh, the kazoo <laughs> see i'm gonna i'm an award-winning kazooist good yeah <laughs> the kazooies I have won an award, <laughs> and I have you a You can kazoo. have an award ceremony called the Banjo and Kazooies. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, I have wanted to buy a banjo. Uh, that is absolutely correct. Correct. Uh, because you showed us two instruments on screen, that's actually an extra bonus point over the original uh -huh. bonus point. And because yesterday was Pi Day, if we multiply... Anyway, you have like 11 points some way, somehow. I don't know how. Question number five for Charlie Rosen. Five. Uh, question number five is... Uh... People can find you on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, both of them are C Rosen Music, all one word. Um, and there you've made some fun things, including reminiscing about one uh, 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 one phone number jingle. Okay, so, so we're gonna follow up that. 
Uh, let's say we were in need of uh, some new flooring, per se. Uh, do you have any idea what number we could possibly call to get some flooring? <laughs> Uh, anybody, anybody who, who grew up in America in the 90s and 2000s will tell you that it's 800-588-2300. Empire, Empire, give me money. T today. <laughs> today. Empire, give me money. <laughs> Where's my check? <laughs> it is so true, though. That, that jingle, I think I used to remember seeing it during Cubs games on WGN. Yeah. And it's just stuck with me for, like, the rest of my life. We're it's amazing because I think everybody assumed that it was local to wherever they grew up, but it's <laughs> it's not. It's everywhere. Hmm. It's everywhere. Could you do it one more time, please? 800 500 Empire. That is enough. What, what if I... What if, what if I was in need of like some cash like right now? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I know. I know what you're talking about, but I don't. I don't Here, know it well. Uh, let me. Can I do the lead-in? Can I do the lead-in? Absolutely. All right. Charlie, I have a structured settlement, but I need cash now. That other one. I know. I know of it. Cash now. There it is. <laughs> uh, you are like eight out of five, and I don't know math well, but that's better than a hundred percent. Charlie Rosen, you have uh, succeeded in your quest on five questions, GMS. Nice. Thanks, Woo, Trudeau. That's uh, incredible. Leader of the 8-Bit Big Band, you have shows coming up uh, New York City March 20th and D.C. on the 25th, April 9th in Boston. And between those last two, the Grammy Awards will air on April 3rd. Uh, where can we find you if we want to keep tabs on both uh, you and the 8-Bit Big Band? Well, the 8-Bit Big Band exists on pretty much whatever social media platform is your taste. So most of my posting is on Instagram at the 8-Bit Big Band. Our YouTube channel is sort of our main flagship uh place on the internet it's got videos of every single arrangement we've ever done in studio and we stream on spotify and apple music and amazon but as far as news and updates instagram is probably your best bet we gotta see your instruments it was so much fun thank you charlie rosen for joining us this morning on gaming morning show yeah of course